Okay, so I think today I'm as their channel evolved and as they created bigger and bigger <sighs> It was a very challenging day so On days like this I tend to do my best finish certain tasks tasks that require my attention but usually creativity stalls or it stalls if I just try to push through everything like it's just a, another regular day and I expect my body my brain and everything to function just normal regular I didn't realize it is full moon today and since it is a full moon I did a little bit of research around it and they say that around full moon people might experience not sleeping as well and a rise of emotions and that's really what happened to me today yesterday for for like the past few days and i really thought the full moon was like next week and i also contributed to the time of the month usually before the time of the month comes is normal for some women to experience mood swings this morning i worked then I went and I was preparing for a meeting that I'm gonna have soon but I was just so heavy and lately I haven't been taking naps in the past I used to take naps but lately I haven't been doing that I don't take naps anymore because I don't want it to mess with my sleeping schedule at night but I think that sometimes doing a 20 minutes nap which I'm capable of I can even do a 10 minutes nap I'm one of those people I don't need to sleep 3 hours or 2 hours I should do it because my lunch break is usually warming up food for my husband i eat with him and then i go back to work and then i find myself sometime later on like going through instagram and stuff where i do that throughout the day and i consider that to like be like a break but it's not that's actually not a real break a real break is to step away from what you do maybe do something that you enjoy or something that you need to do like a nap a meditation a walk is also nice to do during the summer I actually would go sometimes on a walk around the block and then I'll come back and today was one of those days where I just had to fully change my schedule and do something else so I took a nap so good I talked to my husband for a little bit which was super helpful I really needed that talk I needed him to boost me up for a little bit because sometimes I just get into my head and I feel like I'm not doing anything right I'm not doing enough blah 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 he really reminded me of how much I do every single day. Growing up, I didn't have anyone to pep talk me, to say to me, you're doing a great job. In fact, I, I shared with him that I need that, and I did it with him, so almonds and hazelnut. Mm. Ice cream without a kippet. Wow. Mm. These are walnuts. This really made a difference today. So today my goal was to finish most of the video editing so I can share a vlog this week and then was to prepare for a meeting in fact I was preparing for a meeting first because that was priority but I had to stop and I had to prioritize my well-being and as somebody who has been in personal development I took my own advice I always tell people when you feel down do something for yourself meditate go for a walk read a book watch something that inspires you whatever play with your pets do a little bit of that or sometimes you might do a little bit more than that maybe you need a full day of that i don't know a half a day of it for me it's turning into a, a half a day and i feel better i feel so much better but i'm not gonna go back to work yet because sometimes i feel better i go back to work and then all of a sudden i'm back to where i started so I just, I'm just gonna be here for a little bit. I'm gonna watch Nate here talk about YouTube and enjoy these blueberries, the mandarin or tangerine, however you wanna call it, ice cream, arequipe, dark chocolate. Ah, I think for a little while I'll go back to work. It was already five o'clock. During these days when I feel like this, something that my husband and I do, we would take a bath and do a meditation. We will just relax and enjoy ourselves in the water, disconnected from the world, just in our little world. And that's what we're gonna do later today. I usually don't dress up much during the day or wear anything out of the ordinary, I just casual. But today, I just put this like like that in two seconds. And I think it is because I needed the boost. I just knew it. 
subconsciously feel good, look good, enjoy delicious food that you don't need every single day because it's not good for you to eat this every single day has this week been tough for you as well because honestly for me it started great then it took a turn hmm i soaked all the nuts overnight so there's the perfect amount of crunchiness content for many of them it led to them reaching a point where they said is this even what i want i just gone with the flow up to this point but is this actually what i want where is the limit on what you're willing to change in the pursuit of growing your channel? I'm gonna put a like for him because this man does an amazing job and I always love his But he also made me think of something. What is the limit that you have taking care of yourself? If you have a day like this, like me right now, what would you do? Would you keep on pushing and pushing until you get everything done and feel like Damn it, this should be working out for me right now. There's no reason for me to feel like this. Why do I feel like this? What's wrong with me? I'm not enough. Or <sighs> would you take a step back? It's some delicious food. Call someone up or talk to that person in person and give you the boost of hearing about the amazing things about yourself. Because I'm 100% sure there is a lot of them. And then go and enjoy yourself for the day. What would you do? Where are your limits with yourself and who you are for yourself in this world? This workout was intense, which is what I like to do even at home. Um, it is shorter than the way I would do it in the gym, I would say. It's usually like 20 minutes, sometimes could even be 10 minutes, depending how I feel. But this is the goal. Take it seriously because, and I think I just saw the mouse. Mother. Uh, I bought this thing for under the door, but I didn't put it yet. Anyways, <laughs> let me stay on track. I'm gonna rest for a moment.